No, that you don't. Oh, know. wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I look. can't believe they're here. A big hello, you guys. Thank you for watching today all day. Uh, we hope you had a great weekend. It was a hot one, we know, but mm -hmm. we are so glad you're here with us Monday morning. Now, this is today in 30. Mm -hmm. We think you know what to do. Yes. Yeah. Sit there. This is what we, you yeah. sit and this is what we do. We give you a mix of everything you love about today and we do it in 30 minutes. So as Savannah was saying, first, do you feel in the heat? Mm. Millions from the Midwest all the way here to the Northeast sweating through a record setting heat wave. Al's going to have the forecast and also will let us know when there can be some relief. Yeah, he's doing it in a seersucker suit too, so you know it's hot. Yeah. And then did you hear Harry and Meghan have announced the birth of their daughter, mm -hmm. Lilibet Diana? Beautiful. Love the sound of that. We'll tell you the significance of the name and share the reaction from the rest of the royal family. Plus, she's going to be embarrassed, but I don't care. A special day. This girl is marking 10 years behind this anchor desk, and we're going to celebrate. We're calling it a Savannah anniversary, and she hates that we <laughs> no. do that. But too bad. <laughs> Let's just get to all of it. All right. Today, Today in 30. 30. This morning, 17 million people across the Northeast and Northern Plains are under heat advisories. Al is standing by. He's got the forecast. But first, let's get to NBC's Kathy Park. She's already feeling the heat up early in Boston. Kathy, good morning. <laughs> Savannah, good morning to you. The average time this time of year in Boston is 73 degrees. We're already at 74, and with temperatures expected to soar later on this afternoon, several schools here in the Northeast are planning to close early. Across the country, a pre-summer heat wave, scorching folks from the Midwest to the Northeast. For some, the record-setting temperatures climbing too fast too soon. I'd say this is more like July 4th. And yeah. We, <laughs> we're about a month <laughs> early. The intense heat and humidity baking Boston for at least four days, going from uncomfortable to dangerous. The mayor declaring a heat emergency and opening cooling centers. In New York, temperatures in Central Park hit 90 degrees for the first time this year. And in anticipation of the high heat today, schools in Connecticut and Massachusetts are closing early. In Minnesota, where some spots flirted with triple digits this weekend, energy experts offering tips to help keep electric bills from climbing. If you've got appliances, the dishwasher, washing machine, dryer, only run them with full loads and run them at night when that heat has dissipated. And more extreme weather out west. A drought is worsening in Utah, where residents are trying to conserve water by turning off sprinklers at least once a week, taking shorter showers and fixing leaky faucets. Back east, a preview of summer with millions sweltering in historic highs, but some still seeing the bright side after the long pandemic lockdown. Just being outside without masks right now is fantastic, so which is great. And here in Boston, we might be nearing a record high of 97 degrees, which was set back in 1999. The heat emergency lasts through Tuesday. And while those cooling centers are open to the public, city-run outdoor pools are not yet open for the season, which might be another good reason to keep eating that ice cream, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> hot, hot day. Kathy, thank you. And as we mentioned, the heat will be sticking around for a little bit. Al's got the details on this. Hey, Al, morning. Hey, guys, good morning. And you know, Summer starts June 20th on a Sunday, but in the meantime, we are already feeling the heat. Through Thursday, they've got those heat advisories up. We've got 18 million people impacted by them. Here in the Northeast, we're looking at more of the same. And in fact, the summer feeling today going to be a rough one. It's going to feel like 96 in Boston, same in Philadelphia, 95 in D.C. Cleveland, you're going to feel like 85 degrees today. Minneapolis will feel like 96. And for tomorrow, we are looking at that heat continuing, feeling like 92, or it is 92 in Rapid City. Tomorrow, it'll be 93 in Minneapolis, 87 in Detroit, New York City, feeling like 92 degrees. And as we go later this week, look at these temperatures. We do cool down a bit. Boston, by Friday, you're at 69 degrees, so not not so bad, but mid-80s continue in Cleveland, Chicago, 90s up into St. Paul, and on into Omaha. Stick around because there's much more coming up on Today in 30. Now to that happy news for the royal family. Harry and Meghan announcing the birth of their second child. It's a girl, Lilibet Diana, but they'll be calling her Lily for short. Her arrival here in the United States, historic, and of course, well, usually there's nothing like a baby to bring a family together. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin is in Santa Barbara, California with more. Hey, Aaron, good morning. 
Hey, Hoda, good morning. Baby Lily was born at this hospital in Santa Barbara, the first high-profile British royal baby to be born in the United States. And while we've yet to see a photo, the Sussexes have released a statement saying both mom and baby are healthy and well, resting in Montecito, adding the baby Lily was named after both her great-grandmother, the queen, and her late-grandmother, Princess Diana. This morning, a new addition to the Sussex family. A baby girl named Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, or Lily for short, joining two-year-old big brother Archie. Meghan and Harry making the surprise announcement Sunday, saying Lily was born Friday morning, weighing 7 pounds 11 ounces, at this hospital in Santa Barbara near the couple's California home. Far away from Windsor Castle, where baby Archie was first introduced to the Queen and the world in 2019. The couple saying in a statement about their new baby girl, she is more than we could have ever imagined. Baby Lily now expected to be eighth in line to the throne. Her first name honoring her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name a tribute to her beloved late grandmother, Princess Diana. The royal family releasing a short joint statement saying they're delighted. Prince Charles and Camilla, as well as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, also sending their congratulations. We know there has been a rift within this family. Can the naming of Lily be seen as an olive branch of sorts? Whether it's an olive branch, I think it's also about the couple wanting to perhaps remind the world that they still have these very strong royal ties. The Sussex's relationship with the rest of the royal family strained since the couple stepped back as senior royals early last year. In March, Meghan and Harry sat down with Oprah, Meghan accusing members of the royal family of neglecting her mental health and of racism before the birth of baby Archie. There were hopes the rift had begun to heal with the death of Prince Philip in April. Prince Harry and William seen chatting outside the funeral service. But more recently on his new Apple TV Plus documentary, The Me You Can't See, Prince Harry once again speaking out, this time about his own upbringing. When I was younger, he used to say to both William and I, well, it was like that for me, so it's going to be like that for you. That doesn't make sense. Just because you suffered... That doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer. The couple's move to Montecito, ensuring baby Archie and Lily will have a very different childhood. Harry telling Oprah back in March, now their family is complete. In lieu of gifts, Meghan and Harry are asking everyone to donate to a list of charities benefiting women and children. As for when the royal family might get to meet baby Lily, well, we don't know just yet. We do know that Prince Harry is expected in the UK next month for the unveiling of a statue in tribute to his late mother, Princess Diana. But it's unclear if Meghan and the kids will accompany him. Hoda. All right, Aaron McLaughlin. Aaron, thank you. Stick around because there is much more coming up on Today in 30. It is a milestone morning here. Savannah's 10th anniversary at Today, or as we've dubbed it, it's her Savannah anniversary. It was 10 years ago this week, Savannah, that you officially joined the Today Show family. We saw Al welcoming you in, and Savannah has been our North Star. She has guided us through everything from breaking news to the Olympics to royal weddings. That's right, from tragedies to triumphs and everything in between, providing us and the world with a front row seat to history. And today, we want to celebrate your incredible legacy. (laughs) So many groundbreaking interviews and memorable moments. So, Savannah, brace yourself. (laughs) Drop down the tissue. We dug into the archives for a special look back. I can't believe it's been 10 years. I feel so much gratitude. It's an anniversary. I just like saying it. 10? I want to see day one for proof. We are so glad you've left the confines of the White House for you to become an official co-anchor. I remember thinking, you know, she's got this pal next door. She's us. Live from Studio One. I knew I'd like her but I didn't know I'd love her. Savannah Guthrie. It's an honor to be here. We know how much she's done in 10 years, all the way around. 
Good morning. Breaking overnight. I feel real lucky to be working with her. I just looked at her and I was like, I love you. She looks at me and she goes, I love you too. And that was it. Let's go. No one covers breaking news like she does. Breaking overnight. Top story. Get right to this breaking news. It's hard to put it into words just how full of grief and sadness this community is. And this is a morning that will be recorded in the history books. This is just one of many stores broken into, looted. When I got here and those moments happened on our air, I remember feeling that responsibility. Breaking news out of Boston. Here is what we know right now. I think I was uh, on the air that day for more than seven hours. She does it like no one else. It's a sight to behold. We heard at the Place de la République, there is this feeling of resilience. This is your home, your house of worship. It's my home and it's been desecrated. I know there's so much anxiety out there. We're going to try to walk everybody through what's going on this morning. Watching her cover like the elections. Obama triumphs. Midwest is key. Political divide remains. 2016, she was nine months pregnant with Char Char. The voters have spoken. The 45th president of the United States, Joe Biden, has been elected president. We've got breaking news and it's good news. Literally, they just told me in my ear, it's a boy. Get you more information. As soon as it comes through my ear, I'm just going to blow it out. I would contend that she's mastered the political interview. The criticism that I hear a lot, that you are sometimes slow to react. Are you the leader of the opposition in exile in the Republican Party? People underestimate Savannah, and they do so at their own peril. Do you get how bad it looks? I have the transcript of the call. Do you think this was a perfect call? She's direct, she's honest, she wants a straight answer. Have you known that he is a liar, as you say? Well, absolutely. Why did you work for him? Savannah, slow down. It's like a master class. Were you a coward? No. That's what they called you. She's like the Swiss army knife of the peacock. She can do presidential town halls. That was a retweet. People can decide for themselves. I don't take a position. You're not like someone's crazy uncle. You are going to answer her question. What's the holdup? What's the bottleneck? And what's being done about it? it? It's like watching her with Liddy Dole and Bob Dole. You're family to us. You really are. (laughs) What would you say now about your motto, hope? wins out. People gravitate to her. I've met so many people that touch me because they have the courage to speak. I still expect Kayla to come through the door. (laughs) That's crazy. I'm sorry. It's overwhelming when you see. There have been many, many stories like that that stay with me. What did it feel like to fly? You are a survivor with a capital S. Do you feel like she may have saved your life in that moment? Absolutely. Who do you choose to share that story with? You choose somewhere where you feel totally and completely loved and safe. And they chose Savannah. You see in her eyes her compassion. Weren't you just a young woman who wanted to just not have to be sick? Can't be easy to talk about. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't pray for the opportunity to go back to that day. You see a mother who can't even imagine that grief. It's more than a story. They are in her phone. They are on her heart. Can you tell me what this business means to you? Sorry, I'm getting a little choked up. Uh Okay. He would have been so (laughs) proud of you, Lily. (laughs) I'm glad you guys could all get together. (laughs) Hugs are back. It's really, really hard to be both credible and really cool. And Savannah can do both at the drop of a hat. She sings, she dances, she's a mom. Her skin glows so much it can be seen from space. <laughs> yes. I was so impressed by you. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I'm a huge Savannah got three fans. Oh. <laughs> you watch it with Tom Hanks. We're on the Savannah <laughs> channel. It's a love fest. No, that is not a good answer. Savannah got three. There we go. There's just nothing like sharing the spotlight with your sisters and your mom. Oh, I, I can so relate to that. Everything good that has happened to me happened right here. Oh, yes. I got married yes. 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 Baby Bill. There you go. Hi, Charlie. 
One of the things that I enjoy watching her being as a mom. Hi, Bill. It's mommy. Hey, Charlie, blow kiss. What? We got to see Vale and Charlie's little beautiful faces peek in. Charlie. They've multiplied, guys. <laughs> When any of Savannah's friends have a problem, she's the first person they go to. They know that their heart can rest there. I lost my mom tragically. One of the first phone calls I got was from Savannah, who said, what do you need? My brother had just died. The kind, generous spirit. That's who she is when the little red light on the camera goes off. We are expecting a baby girl. Oh. <laughs> When she finds out all that you did for her to bring her into this world, both of you, you're wonderful. You. During the pandemic, we were doing the Today Show remotely. I'm in my basement right now. And it wasn't until we all gathered in that backyard. It's so good to see your beautiful faces. We realized how much of a family we are. We recognize what's so precious. Yes. And what's precious is people. Mommy's had the same job for 10 years. Wow. No one takes the work more seriously, but she doesn't take herself too seriously. I don't know how to skate. Oh. Still in your PJs? Me too. Good morning. One, two, three, lay out You vaccinated people. She's got such a quick wit. Well, I don't have to fit in a wedding dress tomorrow. Why not? She's always willing to play. Ready to perform. Stop, like, I have some thoughts. <laughs> Right now. Super cool. If she's going to do something, she's all in. I mean, did you see her performance in Wicked? What's really fun is to watch her inner fangirl come out, because it comes out a lot. Hello. Hello, hello. Is it me you're looking for? I love Shakira. Aww. And my lips don't lie. You're my kind of woman. <laughs> Over the years, I think I've gotten to meet all of my crushes. Colin Firth, I love you. Some people are calling this, George, your return to TV. You mean this right now with you? Yes, oh. us, right this here. Is... Okay, I'm flustered. Jolene, Jolene. Yes. Wow. Roger Federer came on the show. Can I call you Raj? Sure you can. Well, her love affair with Roger Federer is embarrassing. Okay. But I'm on camera number one. Oh I my present, God. <laughs> I present the law. This whole Roger Federer obsession. I mean, it's pretty crazy. When I realized that I was going to be playing against Roger. Ah! I've gotten to travel the world. That is a North Korean guard post. We have a lot of people up with us this morning. Wow. wow. Really special day. We are here at the White House. You might run into a senior administration official or perhaps the Vice President of the United States. Let the games begin. I think Savannah is one of the biggest boosters of the Olympics and especially of the female athletes. You know what's better than a gold medal? 23 gold <laughs> medals. I got to visit the Holy Land and see it in a way I would have never dreamed possible. I know how much that meant to her, to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. As a person of faith, I don't think there's a story that meant more to me. Prayers are joined. They are. Rise up. I think about this place as where all my dreams came true. Happy 10th anniversary. I hope you have a great decade years of work. Congratulations, dear Savannah, on 10 years. I can't imagine life without you. You are not only our friend, you are the pillar of our NBC work family. We love you. We are so proud of you. Happy Savannahversary. You are so darn good at what you do. And off the air, you're also a beautiful friend. Thank you for being our North Star. We love you. Happy anniversary, Savannah. You haven't changed a bit. We love you so much. Here's the 10 more. Congratulations, Savannah. We love you. Mwah. Savannah Guthrie, you know I love you. 
Congratulations on 10 years. that by now we're <laughs> celebrating Savannah, who's marking 10 years as part of the Today Show family. All right, so we're going to get this party started. Savannah Guthrie, please come join us. <laughs> oh, I get to make an entrance. Yes. I do the thing I do where I pretend to go down the stairs <laughs> behind her flashlight every day. Yes. Hi. Hi. Are, are, you're so over it. I know. No, I'm so a, I know. It. We it's, are so not over it. By the way, hi. there are so many great highlights to get to, but I have to say the best one happened just at the end of the eight. Yeah. Oh. Could you have died? I mean, we've been celebrating Savannah. I don't even know if we have the clip ready, but when oh, you're... Oh, oh, my people. people. <laughs> and were you shocked? I was because it's of all the COVID rules and everything, you know, it's like I didn't think they'd let the kids come on, but, you know, my, the, my husband's vaccinated, of course, but the kids had their little mask. But Look how Vail is, like, not letting you go. go. Oh, I just was so happy to see my little people, and oh. it's just the whole thing was lovely. <laughs> I know, but it's like it's over now. No, it's okay. not. Okay. Yeah. Here, we're not going to let it in until you <laughs> leave right I now. I love when you said all the best things in your life have happened on this show. It's true. The last ten years on this show, it's like the best friends, mm -hmm. my whole family. You know, my whole family, every professional dream mm -hmm. I ever had, or even didn't even dare to have came true here you know it's like it's just too much it's like you know people they kept asking me like what is there a pinch yourself moment I'm like yeah every day I wake up <laughs> is a pinch point. myself every single morning I walk in I pinch myself because this is a dream oh, it's a dream it, I mean the fact that all of this happened in this last decade it's crazy it's just beyond and you know you posted this hilarious <laughs> throwback of yourself oh, which was wait, like wait. the most unflattering picture of that's her. what I you how long have I been that. telling Why you you but, don't care. Well, That's what I love. She doesn't care, but she you know, posted this picture what? of her as a little girl, and she just oh. said nobody would have ever thought <gasps> that this little girl would host the Today Show. No oh. way. Yeah, Well, the, and especially that little girl. Like, I would have never thought. I would have never dreamed that I could do something like this. I mean, mm. but I know, I'm like in on the joke. I know it's such a, it's just a total blessing. It's a, mm. just like, I feel God is like rained down mm. blessings on me, and I don't know why, but I, I'm like, thank you. Thank you so much. This whole thing has been so... So sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, to do to have everyone say such wonderful things and to get to kind of like it's like attending your memorial service, but you, <laughs> but you don't have to be dead. Well, you get we, to be alive for can it. Can we show you your eulogy? This. Oh, yes. oh, can boy. we show you um, yeah. the best side of Savannah that as you've been part of this show? Take a look. Three, two, one. Hi guys. I'm just doing my part, Jenna. It it's just a little ice cream with pancake. Mm. Water okay, down with. Oh my gosh, thank so you fun. for that. Show. Thank you Did for you notice during your, your concert this morning two really dorky <laughs> super fans <laughs> trying to dance to <laughs> our mom dancing? Crank <laughs> it oh. up. There you go. Twinkle little star. You want to give him a little spank? Okay. <laughs> so maybe you have to spank you gotta... That was unexpected. Topic okay, number one too. pimple update. I don't think anyone will ever know that I've had a face blemish. You have been better. A very attractive oh my man. God. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to write you a love letter. Oh, I'll put it in the mail, girl. I'll be checking my mailbox. <laughs> Mimosa day. I know. What is all that? A lot of drinking. I'm always, I hate it when you guys stop drinking. No, I went with some of it. I'll just devolve into this. And I'm huge. Love you, Mama. Well, I love you more than more work than friends. work, friends. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Here's to Ted Moore. Oh my. <laughs> be sure to join us tomorrow on today. Uh, Susie Orman will be here to help us get it right financially. Yeah, to get financially fit. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Plus, we're going to reveal our new today all day lineup. That's for you. You're the today all day viewer, so you don't want to miss this. This is all about you. This is such a, we're celebrating and there's something great in this cup. Oh I wish y'all would know it. No, none for you. Is we'll that... see you tomorrow right here on Today. Tequila? Mm -hmm. <laughs>